I'm Naima Abdullahi in the newsroom. The latest development in the ongoing Atlanta City Hall scandal. Atlanta's former contract compliance officer pled guilty to wire fraud and filing false tax returns. Larry Scott is accused of receiving $220,000 as a business manager while also working for the city of Atlanta. This all happened between 2012 and 2017. Scott abruptly resigned from the city last week. The 54-year-old is the sixth person to plead guilty in a probe of city government corruption under former mayor Kasim Reed. Accused shooter finally in custody. Atlanta police charging Isaiah Williams with opening fire into a crowded block party near Clark Atlanta University last month. Four female college students caught in the crossfire. All of them are doing okay. Police are still looking for the second gunman wearing a black jacket. An inmate here at the Butts County Jail is accused of breaking into a house and assaulting a woman, but it turns out the house was a police chief's house and the woman the chief's daughter. The suspect, 24-year-old Marquarius Deontay McClendon, and the chief of the Jackson Police Department, James Morgan, tells me that McClendon is the ex-boyfriend of the chief's daughter. The chief says McClendon knew where his daughter kept the key outside and used that key to break into the house and walked upstairs to the woman's bedroom. She was home alone and asleep and then the chief says McClendon confronted her and then ran away. GBI agents were on the case and by the end of the day McClendon was here at the Butts County Jail charged with burglary and aggravated assault.